really neat feature within Smart Notebook is what's called the activities. Activities are games built directly into Smart Notebook that are very simple for you as a teacher to set up. Here's a quick example of one. You'll see it's got these little spaceships asking for rationally rational numbers. The students can simply just drag and drop. If they get it wrong, it shakes. If they get it right, it accepts it. These are very, very simple activities that are built in with very little effort on the teacher's behalf. All right. Give you an idea. There are lots of different ones available. That one is what's called Super Sword. There is one with a race car, a race car game that the kids get very highly competitive with. They, get, they choose the players, choose the mascot, and it's going to have cars race around. Every time it hits these slashes, it's going to ask a question. I'm going to keep moving through these just real fast to give an overview. There are many of them in there, so I can't I can't possibly highlight all of them right now. But this is a matching game. Then there's fill-in-the-blank games, there's ranking games, there's a lot of different ones in here. To show you how easy these are to set up, I start out on a blank page. At the top of my screen, there is this little space innovator guy, it's called our activities. I click on activities, it's going to pop up a box asking me what activity do I want. There are a lot of them. There's fill-in-the-blank, game show, monster quiz. There are some that say devices required. Keep in mind those devices required ones require the kids have a phone, a laptop, an iPad, something. It just has to be an internet connected device. It can be different devices, but they have to have it. They just simply choose, you as the teacher simply choose what activity you want. I'm going to do the sorting activity, which requires categories. I only get two categories, so I'm going to, I'll just do category one, and I will do category two, just to keep it simple. But normally I would use real category names, and I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, I cross it, probably could have done odds and evens, six, all right, so I got my categories, I got my information in, it does allow you to put pictures in there as well, I hit next, it takes me to a page where I get to choose a theme, what's great with these themes, there's so many different themes, the kids are going to think every time they see a different theme, it's a brand new game. It's not. It's the same. It's the same name, just a different theme. So I'm going to choose pirates and hit finish. Just that quickly, you have made a game. All I had to do was put the text in there. That was it. And now I have a game that is already ready to be played. They can simply drag, and you, if they get it wrong, you can see how it hurts them. It's a very quick and simple process, and it's easy for you to build as a teacher. All right. One last thing to highlight, you can edit an activity. If you realize you want to change the theme or maybe you want to change some content, up in the top right there's a pencil. Click on that pencil, it takes you back into the editor where you can make changes. You can actually change the theme or you can change the questions that are on there. So it all depends on what you need. And just that quick, I've got a brand new theme, what looks like a brand new 